Hey, Westside, I uh, hope you're having a great week. This is Pastor David, and I'm continuing these, this devotional series around um, the practices of a healthy spiritual life. And um, I hope these have been really helpful to you. I imagine some of them feel awkward or strange. Um, I imagine some feel like a relief and uh, maybe are more fun or interesting. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite practices in the spiritual life, and it's one rooted in centuries of the early church. It's called Lectio Divina. That's Latin um, for divine reading. And um, the whole idea of why we do this exercise, Lectio Divina, um, is to open up another channel of connecting with, with God with the Holy Spirit in the reading of God's Word. And so for a lot of us in the ways we've grown up in the church, a lot of Bible study has been done. It's where we read a passage of Scripture and we unpack uh, what is happening, what's God saying, uh, who are the characters in the story, how does that fit into my life today and in the broader story of God and His people, which is all really great and necessary. Um, but this practice of Lectio Divina is one um, where we actually chew on the words like a meal. Uh, we, the, the words of God given to us in the Spirit are something we chew on and we contemplate and we meditate on. Um, and as I said, this is a practice that goes back centuries into the early church, believing that not just thinking and understanding the Word of God is important, but uh, saturating ourselves, soaking, meditating, opening our hearts up to the Word is really important as well. And um, there's a verse that, that kind of unpacks this for us. It's 1 Corinthians 2, 9 and 10, and it says, um, As it is written, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. And verse 10, I think, is just so important. These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit, not just by our mind and intellect, um, not just by our will and hard work, but by his spirit connecting to us, he reveals new things, deep things, and the, the things of God, the nature of God, the character of God. So there are four parts to this, this practice. Um, the first is reading. Uh, we pick a short verse, a section of scripture, and we read it. And we read it with intention. We read it slowly. Um, we let the words linger, not rushing through to get through our checklist, but to listen and uh, receive what God has. So the first step is reading. Second step is meditating. Meditating in this sense really means to ponder, to open our hearts, to silence everything else, and to let the word marinate uh, in us. Third part is to pray. Uh, we ask the Spirit, we ask God to speak to us in this word, whatever he may have for us that day. And it can be unique from day to day and season to season, that that meaning that um, the life of the word can be unique. You can read the same verse 200 times and it have many different meanings and expressions um, that God reveals in each season. That's why it, the word is living, it's alive. Um, and finally, the fourth step after reading, meditating, and praying, uh, the fourth step is to contemplate. And this is a huge part of the early church practice that we have just uh, scrapped. We have pushed to the side, we don't have time for it. Um, and it's an important step because it is simply to, um, to, to, to ponder, to unpack to sit with what we've just read and what we've prayed and meditated on and giving space for it to be. 
So um, today I'll throw out this verse for us to do this Lectio Divina practice together. Uh, it's John 1.1, 1, 1, and it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Um, and I think that's just a beautiful passage. It's short. Um, and so I submit that to you, John 1.1, 1, 1, as your first practice. And here's, um, here's what you can do. Take that verse, John 1.1, 1, 1, and read it slowly. Open your Bible or your phone, your app, um, and read those words slowly. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And allow the living word of God to direct your meditation, to set your mind and heart on John 1.1. 1, 1. And after you have sat with those words and let them really kind of anchor in your heart, Ask the Lord what he has to say to you in this moment, in this verse. What does it mean that he was there from the beginning, alive in the word, with the Trinity, with the creator God, that the word and the creator were one and were together? And then carve out five minutes and just set your heart on what God reveals to you, what he would say to you. Make space for God to speak. I hope this is encouraging to you, church. It's a beautiful exercise um, that has been practiced for so long in the faith. And it may be awkward, may be different than anything you've done, um, but those are good things uh, to try that challenge us and open up new places for us to connect with God. I hope you're blessed by this. The Lord be with you and cover you and carry you through the rest of your week and on in your journey with Christ. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.